am back with another video to share with you guys today and today we have decided that it is time to clean out our treat drawer. Now this is long overdue. Everybody knows when you have a dog or two dogs in my case that you get bombarded with treats. You forget how many you have, things stock up, things go out of date, things have been opened for so long that you've not used. So I'm here today to clean out what is in our treat drawer and what is in our emergency drawer really and share with you guys what the dogs are eating, what treats they like, what they don't like, what I'm throwing out, what I'm keeping. So it's just really to share with you what kind of goodies we have. So this is our treat drawer in here. So this is one drawer. And I'm going to sit that there for just now and the dogs are going to go crazy because they're going to start smelling. Yes, we might have known you'd smelt something. And I also have, now don't judge me guys, do not judge me. Okay guys, do not judge, but I have an emergency stash through here as well. And I have the dog's big bag of food which I bought on the 26th of... August for this month really but I'm still using the old bag so I don't know when I'm going to open this one I've got a tray of wet meat down there <laughs> that's not the dog's that's mine um, and underneath is Pixie's birthday which I'm not allowed to share well I am allowed but I'm not going to share with you guys until um, it is her birthday and I'm really really excited so I'm basically going to empty all of this take it through and show you what it is that we've got and we're binning or keeping or whatever. Okay you guys, so this is the stuff in the drawer and this is the stuff that was in my emergency drawer and there's things in here that probably will need to go in the bin. I'm actually not that long doing a clear out, I actually had less than what I thought. Are you going to sit there nicely? Mm-hmm, maybe if you sit there nicely we'll wait and see if there's something in here you can have. Uh-huh but you need to behave. Okay, so I did forget about a box, so I've literally ran through and got it, and it's a box of these, which I bought like ages ago, but they're all still in date. They don't run out till August 2017, and I have five boxes left. <coughs> Too much, right? Because, I mean, we get subscription boxes, we've had subscription boxes, and when you get a subscription box, you're not really going to fall short of treats. So I really need to get as rid of as much as this as possible, because I want to start fresh. This is just things that have accumulated over the last couple of months um, to a year, and it's just getting a bit beyond a joke. So I do want to get rid of some stuff I'm going to bin, some stuff I will keep, and I'm want to do a giveaway but it's doing the giveaway I'm trying to think of a way of how to do a giveaway I've not done one before um, so I'm thinking about that if anybody has any ideas or suggestions what kind of giveaway you would like to do or something you know some of these treats and stuff will be included in the giveaway but um, it's something to think about and you know it's something to do later on down the line Okay, so we'll start off with, I think, the drawer. Now, this tin, okay, now this tin has the wee chicken treats in it, which I've just recently put in there, so I'm going to keep that. Bedtime biscuits, these have been opened for a while, and because they have been opened for a while, they're going to go in the bin, just because the air gets to them. They don't come with Ziploc bags, so I never put it in one. Um, these are just about finished. As much as I love them, I'm going to bin them. Sorry guys. Sorry Roxy. Okay, now I'm going to keep these just because we've only really got these in last month's box, which I only really done about a week ago. So I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep these wee bones. Again, we got that in our box. And we got these salmon sticks in our box as well. So these are all recent treats that I'm going to keep. Um, these are salmon bites. Let me just check to see if these are open. Misty gave us these on our holiday. They come in a Ziploc bag, which is fine. Let me check the date on them. Where's the date? Where's the date? 
oh next year okay that's fine so we're going to keep them because that that is literally what i have in here but it's the chicken ones i have in there whereas that's the salmon uh, i have the lily's kitchen my heart is as good as this and lovely as this tin is um, it opens very easily and it has been open in this drawer so it's probably spoiled the treats and I'm not prepared to feed my dogs spoiled treats because we all know what happens. They all end up with runny bums. Okay, now the next thing we got is the squid bites. Now we all know we got this in our first pet nature box. I have had these in the drawer for quite some time. They've kind of lost interest in these, so I'm going to bin them because they're not going to eat them. I need to be harsh here because it's just getting a bit ridiculous. Okay, now we got these in a post box and they are the cutest treats ever. They are so small and tiny. They are the absolute perfect size for small dogs. We did give some to Misty, but because these have been opened for some time, I am going to bin them. I'm probably going to end up just binning everything here, guys. Fruity Heavens, Alfie and Molly's. Now, these we got in Troon in July. Let me just see where the date is. Used by... Um, nope, used by July, June 2017. Uh, okay, so I think I might keep these. I'm going to keep these. We'll keep them, at least. And another tin of the Beautiful Joes, which probably has... Okay, guys, so this actually has the liver treats in it. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the liver treats, but keep the tin, because you can never have too many tins and we don't get from Paw Post anymore, we stopped that subscription service so we are going to get rid of the insides and keep the tin. That's probably a better place to sit for you guys to see me. So let me just open up a bag and pour the contents and no you are not getting one don't get too excited do you want an Alfie and Molly's um, fruity heaven treat so this is these treats here and uh, these are basically like fruit rings like apple rings basically look like if you can see, excuse me, look like that. Do you want one? Okay, right, down. There you go. So they can munch on that while I'm doing this video, give me some peace to actually do it because they're in my face as usual, because it's treats. Right, what's this? Uh, redeemable in store today, a greenie. Well, they don't have shoes, so we're not going to bother with that. And what looks like a couple of old receipts for things. I was planning on keeping every receipt I keep for the dogs, but things get so much that you can't actually do that. So that's just going to go in the bin. So let me just put some of these back in so far. What we've got. It's funny how... It seems to be more fish related in this drawer just now than anything else. But we are going to be using these. Okay, now I've got two empty tins. Which one can you sit there? Okay, now I also have a Wonder Boo Swedish Ox. And this we got in a Paw Post box as well. I am probably going to give this away just because it's quite short a strong meat for my dogs so let me just check the date on it in order for me to give it away because I don't want to give away an item okay so that's December 2016 so if I'm going to do a giveaway I'm going to need to do it before Christmas and include this in it so I'm going to set that in a separate pile we have the Lily's Kitchen snack bars which are all unopened 
so we have two of the sunshiny day, two of the red berry boost, and two, uh, one eat your greens, um, and the dogs don't really entertain these as much. So and Lily's kitchen is really. Are you going to eat your ring? Go, go get it. Uh, you just eat yours. Um, as much as we love Lily's kitchen. The dogs don't really enjoy these treats, they just don't entertain them and it's a shame because they are really, really good. They're all healthy, they're all natural. So what we're going to do is we're going to do these, um, we're going to do a giveaway for these. Now these are created, let me just double check every of them. Okay, so that one's December. That one's next year. And that one's next year. So these three is our set. So what I could do is do one giveaway and have that as a set. This one runs out in December. So again, I would need to include that in a box before in December time. And these obviously have until next year. So we're going to give away all of them. The next thing we have are treats that we got from America. Now these are from a Shih Tzu called Stassi the Zoo. And she has a YouTube channel and we done a box swap and received um, some treats from her. And this is one of them. So it is the Dog Treats Blueberry Cobbler Flavour by Good Dog. And these have been opened and it's a shame because there is such a lot left. But they have been opened for some time. And I'm going to say that they are out of date as of the 12th of this month. So to save anything, I'm just going to get rid. But they did enjoy, they had half of them and they did enjoy them. They were very, very nice and they're good sized treats as well. Okay, the next thing we have is the Woof and Brew Healthy Herbal Dog Teas. Now I gave this um, to the dogs and two days later Roxy had an upset. I'm not entirely sure if it was these, but um, this is the first time that they've tried the performance one. They usually have the skin and coat one. I don't think there's much differences between the two, but I'm going to get rid of this because the dogs don't really drink it anyway. Um, this one runs out in January 17. Oh, sorry, I feel as if somebody was coming through my ceiling there. So this runs out in January 17, so we might include this in a giveaway box. So I'm going to put that in there. Now, I got these online ages ago. These are the Wellness Petite Treats, and there's over 150 treats in the bag. It is the Crunchy Mini Bites with Duck, Mango and Coconut. These came from America, and I ordered them from America. Um, but we have not used them yet and they run out on the 25th of October 2016 sorry. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to use these for my two. I mean it's duck with mango. I've actually not opened them. Do you know what? I'm going to open them and see what they're like. Because I can't really do a giveaway just because we're obviously heading into October. So it's cutting it a bit neat. Ooh. Look at the size of them. They are tiny. And there's loads of them. Okay, let me just check what's in them. Duck turkey meal. Dried ground potatoes. Mmm. We'll try one and then they're going away. We're not going to keep them. Did you even chew that or did you just swallow it? They really do miss duck. Duck isn't really a treat that they... or a flavour that they've had a lot. Well, when they were on James Well Beloved they would have duck but it's not really a flavour that they've seen to be eating just because I've not bought them any. Um, and it is a flavour that they probably do miss. Um, we do need to get back into duck, don't we? Yes, it's a shame Lily's Kitchen don't do any duck treats. Mm-hmm. It's a shame. 
Okay, now the next thing we have is a tin of wet food from Lily's Kitchen and this is the Three Birds Feast. This is last year's Christmas tin and I've just done a video on like the new kind of range on the website. I showed on their website they've got like the new Christmas range for this year which I'm so excited for. Um, but this is last year's tin and I did have another tin but obviously we got one as a present from Misty. Let me just check the date. That's out of date in November. Dogs are probably not going to eat it. I need to weigh up whether or not the dogs are going to eat it in time or not. And they're not. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of it, I'm afraid. We're getting rid of a lot of stuff here. We're doing well. And you're sitting with your face in the drawer. Really. Pixie, come on. Yep, so it's probably better that um, I get rid of that because the dogs aren't really going to eat it now that they're on all organic. Uh, you've not ate your apple ring? Go and eat your apple ring. Hurry up. They're not really, in fact, I'm not that into those apple rings. I might actually just get rid of them. They don't even eat them. There's no point in keeping a treat that they don't eat, right? So the last two things we have here is an absolute must to keep. These came all the way from America. Now we did receive a box from Stassi the Zoo and that box is well and truly gone. And we also received wee bags from Stassi the Zoo on a separate order because they loved them so much. We decided to do a kind of swap. So like um, I gave her the money to post and deliver these treats and buy these treats over here. Um, which was really good of her. So we've got one bag left of the cheese please, like the wee bags, and this is out of the September next year, which is fine. So we're going to keep these. And the box, if I can find the date on it, if I can't find the date on it, it's going to need to go. Where's the date? This is one I bought off of, oh, oh so they're fine, thank goodness, oh, could you imagine binning a whole bag of cheese please, could you, that's like your most favourite treat, because it's cheese, it's probably the most unhealthiest treat you get, but after all it is only really natural baked treats for dogs and there is only three calories in one treat which isn't really that bad at all. Um, but I couldn't find a sale by date on the actual box, so I was kind of freaking out because I thought, I really don't want to bin these because it's a huge, massive box and you have to get them all the way from America because the UK don't do treats like this, although I think they should. And I think the UK should um, look into bringing in some of the USA treats because there's such a wide variety, like the the thinkers, um, like the big sausage, the little pepperoni sticks, the thinkers, um, dog treats that you get in duck, salmon and chicken, we've had them, them sent, we've had them sent from the USA, they love the salmon and they love the duck, but we don't have them anymore and I'm not going to go out my way to go and buy them all the way from America again. Um, I think things like that should be imported in the UK, but hey, that's my rant over. So the sale by date on this is June of next year. So we're very, very lucky. Mm -hmm. So we can keep these ones. Thank goodness they said, thank the Lord. Oh Lord, yes, because you like them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to keep them so they can stay. Um, I'm going to put these two packets in my back in my emergency drawer just because they are quite big boxes. Now the last thing we have really is we have five boxes of the Billy and Margo Honey and Banana Nutritious Training Treats for Dogs, Training Biscuits for Dogs, sorry. And these are oats, barley, chicken fat, honey, seaweed, linseed, cinnamon, banana, yeast extract and turmeric. Now everybody knows that we love Billy and Margo, we get the Billy and Margo ice cream for dogs, we get the treats, we've had them all. The only thing I've not really tried is the venison ones and they do have bones. We've tried the popcorn, um, but the Billy and Margo biscuits seem to be really, really good. They are quite large in size, these ones. So that is what you get in a bag. 
And I'm going to say that we're probably not going to go through five boxes. I've just opened up a box um, the other day there um, that we got from Misty from our back from our holidays. And we've got rid of the orange box. We ate the orange box, which is carrot and apple, I think, or something. Um, and we are going through the honey and banana because when I take the dogs through to the bedroom, at night they come in line with me until Jamie goes to bed and then you go through to their own bed, they come through here. Um, they get a biscuit when they basically are on the bed, it's quite shocking. Um, they usually say the dog shouldn't be allowed on a bed but my two are, people might have opinions of that. That's my choice. But anyway, so the dogs come onto the bed um, and lie with me at night and they give me a nice snuggle and it's funny because they've got into this stage now where they jump up on the bed and they sit and they stare at me until they get a biscuit. So these are the ones that we're using just now. I do have five boxes, they do run out next year. So I'm going to put some boxes in for a giveaway. Now I don't want to just do a giveaway on treats alone. I want to do a giveaway maybe with like some toys in it as well, like a wee kind of box, a wee goodie box for your dog. So I'm going to think of a way of a giveaway. <clears throat> a way of a giveaway. And a work out what it is I'm going to do. Again, as I said, if anybody has any suggestions, then please let me know. But I'm going to actually put two boxes. I've basically got enough stuff for two giveaways there. Um, and I'll maybe get like a couple of toys um, to put in each of that and then it'll be a box separate. One I'll need to do before Christmas and one I'll need to do next year also. But by then we might have some other products to do a giveaway for. Okay guys, so that is basically us. Now let's just show you what we have kept, binned and going to do a giveaway for. So this is a bin pile, oh, minus the toy. This is the stuff for the bin, quite a lot. This is the stuff in our current treat drawer, which goes in our wee set of drawers over there. Um, so this is what we'll be using just now, which isn't a great deal, which is good. And this is going back in the emergency drawer. And this is stuff for a giveaway, probably minus two boxes because I'll be keeping them. But I'm just keeping it all in the same box anyway. So that is um, quite good going for clearing out our treats. Unfortunately, these ones have seen their days and are going in the bin. Sorry, Roxy, but... Mm-hmm. Too much. We've got too much. Yes. And we're going to be getting another box at the end of the month, aren't we? With more treats. Yes. Okay you guys, so that is us, so give us a thumbs up if you like this video and leave us a comment down below. As I said, if anybody has any suggestions for how to do a giveaway, please let me know. I'd like to hear you, your guys' feedback on that and any ideas I'd be open to. Um, and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we will see you guys later. Bye!